Monday night, we might have witnessed a changing of the guard in the TBC Ohio. What's up, Harwood Nation? I'm your online host, Thomas Garvick, and alongside with me is Alexander reporter, Abby Kay. And Abby, the Vin County Lady Vikings, they came out firing on all cylinders. They certainly did. You know, Alexander Spartans, they only had one day to prepare for this game, and they really weren't able to execute on their game plan tonight. Coach Grin said, said that they always come out really slow. Their first quarter is usually a little rough, and we certainly saw that here tonight. Their first quarter, they were down 15 to six, and all 15 of those points were three pointers from the Benton County. Lady Vikings, and unfortunately, the Lady Spartans just weren't able to keep up after that. They were able to kind of cut it a little bit closer going into half. They actually got to 20 to 22, but then from that point on, it was a little bit of a tough race towards the end. Yeah, you said that they were able to get back in the game. How did they do that? Because they were in such a big hole to start this one. Yeah, well, it's tough to say this, but honestly, Rachel Richardson did not show up to play tonight. She is usually a very consistent shooter, but un unfortunately, she wasn't scoring those points tonight. She actually went five for 25. But luckily, we had Kenna Rice and Mallory Rankin step up tonight, and they made some big plays for the Lady Spartans. But in the end, it really just came down to foul trouble and who was better at free, free throw shooting. Now looking at the rest of the season for the Lady Spartans, unfortunately that was their third TPC Ohio loss. The Lady Vikings, they're still undefeated, so the Lady Spartans probably won't repeat as champions. Where do they go from here? So I actually talked to Coach Grinstead about that after the game. He said those were three really big losses. They were hoping to get at least one or two wins out of that. But going forward, they really just got to stick with their positivity and kind of bring up some of those younger girls, get them ready to go for next coming season. Um, he also said that they really want to work on their shooting. A lot of their defense was going right tonight, but they were not making their shots. I think it really comes down to just staying focused on what they can bring coming next season. The takeaways from tonight's game, the Lady Vikings, they're still undefeated, and they keep on rolling. And for the Lady Spartans, they're going to try and build some positivity rolling into next season. For all of our online content, go ahead and log on to woub.org slash heroes. And while you're at it, because I know you guys love your hardware content, Add us on Snapchat, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook for all things Harwin. That's all we have for you for now. I'm your online host, Thomas Garvick, and she's Alexander reporter, Abby Kay, and we're reminding you to be heroic.